There's a car upside down here. There's a car rolled on the way into pit entry. Can't figure out who it is. It's a it's BOC, BOC car. car. It could be Jones, obviously, or Bow. Upside down, pinned against the tyre barrier. Zinger replay might tell more of the story. Now, Brad's already... Now, he was in a battle with one of the Valvoline cars at... Uh, don't know which one it was, could have been Cam McConville, might have been his nephew Andrew Jones. He ends up in the dirt, out wide, and up against that tyre barrier. Fortunately, the tyres have done some job to arrest the, the speed of the car. Um, well, to be honest with you, the first I, I saw of Brad's incident, as I'll call it, um, it is probably the lap I came, uh, the next following lap around, I came around and saw the thing up on its side. And to be honest with you, you know, I'm very close to Brad and I think he's very close to me and we have a great relationship and it was not a very good feeling to come around and see the car on its side. Um, what actually ended up happening to get it to that point is probably I'm going to say something different to him, but um, he was, as far as I was concerned, he was trying to go around the outside on a flat out fourth gear corner, which led on to a flat out fourth gear corner uh, to the next one. So I, I'm not sure what was going on there, but we did touch. Uh, there was a mark on the right rear of my car. So you can sort of read into it however you want. Um, we spoke about it and it's all fine. You know, it's a game that we play and he probably thought I'd be a little bit more lenient towards him. Um, but you know, I didn't actually expect him to go around the outside on that type of corner. So it was unfortunate what happened, but it's, you know, luckily he was fine and um, we move on. Cars are going off on the gravel. That's and rolled. It's rolled. There's obviously some rubbish on the road, and uh, it's Brad, that's Jones, Brad Jones again. again. Second race in a row. He's on his roof. He'll be. Uh, this will be a, a frustration for Bradley because uh, he's been recovering in the last couple of weeks from the big one at Pukekohe, and uh, this stunt will be getting a bit secondhand in his mind and someone's gone to help. I think that's Paul Radisich actually that's gone to help. He was down there watching. And uh, I think Bradley will be okay uh, compared to the one in New Zealand. The problem is you've got to un undo your belts and not actually end up dropping on the roof of yeah, the car. Yeah. You've got to unplug your radio and then you've got to detach yourself from your drink bottle and your Hans device. Fortunately, this time, it, uh, although it's the same outcome, up the car upside down, it's very different to what happened in Pukekohe, and at least it happened in the gravel trap. Whew. He actually had a fair clip of speed up here, but it tripped over itself right at the very end. It was, uh, in terms of the speed of the roll, it was, it just fell over on itself. <laughs>